When people talk about the Reverie, they talk about the possibility of Dragon going to the Reverie and crashing it. Now, I want to say I disagree. I don't think the Reverie is the place that we will be introduced to Dragon. I think Dragon will be officially introduced as, like, a fighter in the final arc of One Piece. And I feel, until then, we will be limited to just seeing him leading and organizing and giving orders and talking like we have so far in the story. Now, I do think something will happen. I think we have slowly been building, showing the Revolutionary Army gaining strength throughout all of One Piece. And I think the Reverie will be the point where they declare war on the world government. Officially. But I don't see them sending in a big team and putting a lot of their soldiers at risk. I don't think that would be a good idea. No, I think they're gonna send in one man. Much like Naruto's five Kage summit arc, I think Sabo would get across the reverie. I don't see Jump allowing Oda to do a completely political arc with no action, so I think this is how they will incorporate some action. I think it will be a lot like Naruto's five Kage summit arc, where Sabo will crash the reverie. And there will be multiple enemies guarding the reverie through levels that Sabo will need to get through. So, while we have Vivi and the others having political discussion, talking about the Void Sentry, the Poneglyph, Dragon, Luffy, Blackbeard, the Yonko, and all the things going on in the One Peak world and how the world government and the great powers are going to deal with them, we will have Sabo fighting his way through strong opponents until eventually he reaches the Reverie, where maybe he'll defeat like Fujitora or, or, I don't know, Kizaru. And he'll jump up, he'll be on the Reverie, he'll get on the table, and he will declare war on the world government. He'll go on to explain that they have the power, they are strong enough to do this, and he is speaking for Dragon, and they're going to declare war. Stava will most likely be leading a small team of like three or four characters, and that including himself. And that will be our combat fighting crew for the arc, if you will. Because honestly, I just don't think Jonin Jump would allow Oda to do a pure political arc. I know he's Oda, I know they really let him do whatever he wants, but I just don't see them letting him do that. I think they would turn around and say, have like a side story. Like, the Sabo thing will be like, you know, we'll get like two or three chapters of politics, but then we'll get one awesome Sabo chapter. Or maybe we'll go back and forth each chapter between the two groups. The point is, is that you'll have the combat crew, which is the revolutionary invading uh, Marijo and trying to get to the Reverie. Or you have chapter focused on Vivi and her crew, which is all the princesses and all the girls, you know, Luffy Tower essentially, and their battle that is a political one with like the Celestial Dragon and the other world leaders, etc. And they will be the ones discussing Luffy, Blackbeard, and all of that. And yeah, so that's my theory. I think Sabo and a small group of revolutionaries are going to crash the reverie, fight through a whole group of people, and declare war on the world government. Now, I do have a theory that will link in the description box down below on how this reverie could lead to Vivi joining the Straw Hat Pirates. So if you enjoyed this video, check that out, which I will be linking in the description box down below. Hope you guys enjoyed. I want to get back into making One Piece videos again. I have another one coming out in like a week. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Like the video if you did. Subscribe for more videos. And above all else, guys, have a great day.